Good evening guys. <laughs> it's Thursday morning. I don't have anything to upload today. So, so I have this one short topic that I had in my mind and I wanted to do it some or the other way. So let's do it today. So the topic is difference between Howard architecture and the one human architecture in computers. Let's get started. So I'll explain von Neumann architecture first, then I'll explain the Howard architecture. So in von Neumann architecture, the previous architecture that we used to use, von Neumann architecture has only three components in total. That means it has an input field, it has a CPU and it has an output field. It has a linear flow of data to it. That means that the data can only flow to input to the CPU and CPU to output. Now the CPU has control unit, it has ALU in it and it has memory unit together combined. Now in this architecture, the memory has two types of data. That means it has a data, the program that we wrote is there in the memory and also the data supporting the program is there in the memory. It is not differentiated at all. Now at once, either the program can be stored into ALU for um, processing or either the data supporting the program can be put into ALU. And now one by one, it will be processed, it will be solved and put into the output ports. Now the Howard architecture is a brilliant concept to work on. Okay, the control unit has four different buses. Each bus can transmit data or receive it simultaneously. Now one bus is connected to input output pins. Second bus is connected to ALU where the program is solved. Now other two buses are connected to the data fetching. That means first one bus is connected to the program data and the other bus is connected to the data supporting the program. This is how Howard architecture is designed. Now while talking about the difference between the von Neumann architecture and Howard architecture, we can see that the data flow in von Neumann architecture is linear. It means the data can either be fetched or it can be coded. Now in Howard architecture, you can see that all of the buses are dual in nature. That means the data can also be transmitted and received back. Now the second point is the pipelining. Now pipelining can be done in Howard architectures. That means the data can be fetched, it can be processed, it can be decoded or encoded at the same time using the pipelining method. But in, when it comes to von Neumann architecture, we don't have any facility like that. So in von Neumann architecture, it fetches the data twice. That means once it fetches the program and second time it fetches the data supporting the program. But in Howard architecture, it is not like that. It continuously takes the data from of the program and the data supporting the program. Now because of this, the von Neumann architecture takes a lot of different clock cycles to solve the question or solve the query. But in case of Harvard architecture, we can program it, we can pipeline it and it will be more efficient and much faster than to work on. This was the difference between von Neumann architecture and Harvard architecture. Thank you guys.